Hey, what's up everybody? Tutal Toby here, and in today's Power Move, we're gonna talk about a beginner's tip in SolidWorks on how to create the geometry from this part in this area here with the counter bore holes. So we can see that these counter bore holes are running around a bolt circle of 95 millimeters, and we can see that the counter bore has an eight millimeter through hole with a 15 millimeter counter bore and a six millimeter depth. We also notice that two of the instances of this pattern are missing. And so in today's quick tip, we're gonna talk about the most efficient way to create this geometry in SolidWorks. Don't forget, if you like these types of tips and tricks videos, be sure to like and be sure to subscribe. So here we see this model in SolidWorks missing those holes. And I'm gonna start out by pressing Control-5 to get to a top view. And then I'm going to launch the whole wizard command. Now the whole wizard is a library of different shaped holes that you can create in SolidWorks. Usually they're created by generating a revolve sketch and the hole type that we're gonna create is gonna be this first one here, counter bore. The next thing that we can specify is our standard. So this part is in millimeters. We're gonna choose ANSI metric. And then the type of hardware that's gonna be going through that counter bore hole. And the reason this is important is because we can see down here, if we choose the option for show custom sizing, as you change the size of the bolt or the screw that's passing through there, the size of the hole will update. And depending which type of hardware you're using, you're gonna get different diameters and different depths from your counter bore. But the trick that I like to use is when the drawing is calling out the parameters for the hole, like this drawing is saying the hole is, is eight millimeters through all, the counter bore is 15 millimeters with a depth of six. Usually I just turn on my show custom sizing option and then I just type in those values there. So I'll type in a value here of eight millimeters for the through, I'll press the tab key, I'll type in a value here of 15 millimeters for the counter bore, I'll press the tab key, and I'll type in a value here of six millimeters for the depth of that counter bore. And so now I've got the sizing correct for that counter bore, now I'm gonna go to the tab that says positions, and I'm gonna single left click out here on this face. That basically takes me into a 2D sketch on that planar face. And now, every time I click, I'm gonna be dropping a point because I'm here in the point command. Well, I don't want all of these points, I just want one. So I'm gonna right mouse button and choose select. And then I'm just gonna get rid of all those extra points, just delete them. And then I'm gonna press the S key and I'm gonna create my bolt circle. So I jump into the circle command, single click the origin, move away, and I'll use auto dimensioning to create my bolt circle of 95 millimeters. Now I'm gonna uh, right mouse button and choose select, or you could hit escape. Sometimes I get worried if I hit escape, I'm gonna kick myself out of the command. So a lot of times instead I use the uh, right mouse button select shortcut. And now I'm gonna take this point here and I'm gonna drag it onto my quadrant point of that circle. And now that sketch is fully defined, fully constrained, so I can hit the green check mark. And that created my first counter bore. Now I'm ready to turn this into a circular pattern in SolidWorks. So I'm gonna choose circular pattern here. And for the circular pattern features, I'll just choose a face of the counter bore. I'll choose this face here. For the circular pattern direction, so I'll click up here in this box. For the direction, I'll choose a circular edge off of the model. And now SolidWorks generates the preview. I'm using equal spacing. The total angle is 360 degrees. And then the number of instances here is gonna be set to eight. So eight instances total, that'll give me 45 degree typical spacing between those holes. And then the final thing I need to do is go down to this instances to skip field. And when I choose instances to skip, I can choose this magenta dot. So see instances to skip is highlighted. I left click on this magenta dot and I left click on this magenta dot. And now those instances are omitted from that circular pattern. I hit the green check mark and there we go. We've created the geometry for those holes, just like they're shown on the drawing here. Looks pretty good to me. And that's gonna do it for today's power move. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Let me know what you thought about the video down in the comments. And of course, be sure to come back for some more power moves.